So you've heard quite a lot over the past few days about storage vendors and how their technology works very well with open source parallel file systems. Now, Panasis is slightly different. We are a storage vendor, but we have our own parallel file system. It's called PanFS. <clears throat> a lot of the features that you've heard um, that are coming down the line into the open source parallel file systems are actually already available on Panasis and have been available for some time. We just not maybe done a particularly good job of telling you all about them. So today, I'm going to start off with one of our customers who's going to tell you about their experience with Panasis. It's a 6.6 .6 petabyte single file system that's based at one of our customers in the UK. I'm Brian Lawrence. I'm, I'm a professor of weather and climate computing. I'm director here at the Rutherford Lab of the Centre for Environmental Data Archival, and I'm also director for the National Centre for Atmospheric Sciences Models and Data Division. Probably the most exciting things we do here are, are bleeding edge climate science and atmospheric science. So we do a range of things to support the, the national and international communities in their analysis of climate data from high performance computing facilities all around the world. We support atmospheric scientists in aircraft and on, in field stations around the world. We support people doing really bizarre things with, with atmospheric science data uh, in the laboratory. And so, so we, we have thousands of users worldwide who, who basically find data from here and, and many of them manipulate data here and, and that's becoming a bigger and larger role. And so, so the kind of things that we're interested in doing is supporting people with really big data challenges because that's getting harder and harder to do in their home institutions and so we need centralised support. The big change in, in, the, in the last few years is as we've become a petascale environment, we, we've gone from, from lots of network attached storage and, and many, many devices to consolidating onto a Panassis environment which is going to cut our total cost of ownership and the number of people that have to spend time moving data from hither to thither and just spending an enormous amount of time just doing stuff that's wasting time. And we can, and we can get our, our, our world class data scientists working on the data and working on supporting the scientists rather than moving the bits and bytes around. So that's, that's thing one. Consolidate the, uh, the storage environment. We now have, for the first time ever, decades worth of measurements from satellites, um, but they're getting pretty big. Um, so typically uh, an input data set um, that a scientist might use is of the order of 150 terabytes. Um, the processing jobs to convert all of that into a number that a weather forecaster might use or a climate scientist might want to feed into their model um, is considerable. Before we've had, uh, we, we had a, a, a difficult management job where we had a, a, an enormous number of uh, 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 network storage boxes and we had to um, uh, control what was on each one very uh, individually. It's very difficult. You can't suddenly grow your NAS box to a, a huge size. You have to work out uh, you have to buy the next biggest one. Much of our problem with, with network tax storage was it was chewing up people. It was chewing up sys admin, it was chewing up data scientists, moving data around. Now we're in a situation w where much of that is, is being reduced to a, a portion of one person. For a petascale archive, that's brilliant. One of the things that we liked about the Panassas solution was that it has a single management console um, and it was very flexible in allocating storage. So we could uh, take volumes, uh, make them bigger and smaller, um, provide quotas, not have to worry about um, recreating the file systems if it was too small, um, and be able to get everything from the central management console and only have to worry about, essentially about one quote unquote box, even though the system is composed of a number of individual computers, we don't actually see that from the management perspective. A lot of the data we have from satellites, numerical models, is absolutely vast and you have to be able to keep that data long term and passed on. So you need robust hardware, which Panassas comes in, and you need the volume where Panassas helps you considerably. The other part of what we're doing is, is making it a high performance storage environment because we've, we're now dealing with people who really do need to analyse hundreds of terabytes of data and they want to do that fast. So we've already seen in the few months that we've got here people whose jobs, analysis jobs, were taking them 50, 60 hours, seeing them to 20 or 30 hours. And so, so that's a huge boon in time because that now means that people can actually spend more time thinking about what this data tells them than actually sitting back watching the computer chuck. That's a big deal. We had a two day um, installation process. Um, of that, most of it was physical infrastructure installation. Um, from the point at which we had 103 shelves in the rack and cabled up 
um, it took us six hours to go from uh, that to a uh, 4.6 usable um, petabyte uh, storage. Uh, so to go from uh, zero to uh, six hours in a file system is pretty amazing. So it, Panassas gives us the scalability is the, is the real thing. The Panassas system is already helping our users to analyse the data, to process the data and to get a better understanding of the climate system than we were able to previously. What gets me out of bed in the mornings is, uh, is doing a great job for, uh, for great science. Panassas is the, the way to do this. Okay, so as I said, it's 6.6 uh, it's .6 petabytes raw um, and online in six hours after the physical infrastructure was in the rack. And that's really what Panassas is all about. It's all about taking the complexity out of a very large, high-performance parallel file system. The talk today is, first of all, going to focus a little bit on how our technology actually works because it's different to a lot of the the parallel file system implementations and solutions that you, you see in the market today. Um, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about the Active Store 14, which is our latest product that includes SSDs. And the file system actually intelligently um, manages certain types of files and metadata onto the SSDs. So I'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, very briefly, who's Panassas? Well, we've been around since 1999, um, shipping solutions since 2003. Um, in Europe, we have over 150 active customers in the region. Um, we've been growing strongly, 180% revenue growth over the last three years in the region. And some of our customers include the world's largest offshore oil and gas supplier, five Formula One teams, Europe's largest genomic database, um, government customers across the, the region and lots and lots of academic customers including a few here in Switzerland. Um, we also have many partners that we join forces with to deliver our HPC and high performance storage solutions and some of them are listed here. So our products, our products um, from a hardware perspective are based on a 4U shelf. It's a modular appliance you start off with a 4U shelf, and as you add more shelves, you scale both capacity and performance. Within that 4U shelf, you have 11 blades. Those blades are a mixture of storage blades, which you can see in the top, top right-hand side of the slide here. Um, the storage blades contain processor, memory, and two enterprise-class SATA drives. On our latest product, we also have an SSD on each storage blade. The director blades in the system actually have several functions. First of all, they manage the metadata. Second of all, they work together in parallel to do very fast parallel reconstructions should you have a failed drive. And thirdly, they also provide access to the data via NFS and SIFS. Most of our customers use our client software which is called direct flow which gives them very fast parallel access to and from the storage but a lot of our customers also access the data from desktop systems or maybe for backups for, for M from NFS and SIFS. The system also includes in each shelf two switches. Each of those switches has a 10 gigabit Ethernet uplink into the network and those switches are active active so we bond performance across the shelf switches. Um, every component in the, in the shelf is customer replaceable, hot swappable, and you can currently scale our systems up to 100 shelves. We could theoretically go way beyond 100 shelves, right? Rutherford Appleton Labs has 103 shelves, but 100 shelves is what we have at many sites in production. So that's something that we're very comfortable to talk about is working in production in our customers today. 100 shelves would give you over 8 petabytes in a single file system. Uh, aggregate throughput up to 150 gigabytes per second and up to 1.4 million IOPS. Panassas is an object storage architecture. What do we mean by object? Well, an object is the file and the attributes of that file in a single component. 
what the file system does is it splits that object up into component objects and stripes it down across the Panasa's storage device. On your compute cluster, you would typically have Panasa's direct flow running on the clients, on the nodes, um, and that would be attached via the network to the Panasa's system. Your application would make a file request which goes to the director blade, and the director blade then returns what we call an object map, telling the application where to either read or write the data down onto the storage system. The storage system then receives from the client nodes in parallel the component objects and the parity for the file. And as you can see from the illustration, it's striped down across the storage system. And as I mentioned, the director blades also offer access for standard NFS and SIFs. In fact, the more director blades you have in your system, the more NFS and SIFs performance you can have because it's, it's very much a scale-out uh, NAS product when you're accessing the data through the director blades. It's very easy to install a Panasa system. You literally set it up as you would do um, very much like a server. So you assign an IP address netmask and default route to the primary director blade. The system then does some software matching. You give it a range of IP addresses and it brings the rest of the blades in your shelf online. It's immediately ready then to start receiving data. You can see here the component objects being striped down across the shelf. If you want to add more capacity, you would literally attach another Panasa shelf or shelves. They communicate with the existing Panasa storage and they do some software matching and the system is immediately brought into the realm, into the file system and it's online. The file system then targets new component objects or new writes to the, the new system and migrates over some of the existing data to the new system. It does all this while it's online. It's completely transparent to the users and the applications. So you can add capacity and performance with zero downtime. This is an illustration of why we don't require RAID controllers in the Panasa system. The parity for a particular file is actually calculated in the client using the direct flow client software. So your application wants to write some data, the parity is calculated by direct flow, and then the data is striped down, component objects are striped down across the storage system. If you lose a drive, then we isolate the storage blade, and you only have to rebuild the files that had component objects on that storage blade. And all the director blades in your system, and in this illustration, those eight director blades, work in parallel to reconstruct that data. So Panasys is very different. Actually, the larger your file system, the more director blades you have, the faster your reconstructions go. So it's a very interesting model because we can do very fast parallel reconstructions. And we've been doing this for years. Each Panasys system, we currently have three models, um, comes with all of the file system and the features as standard. There's no additional license fees for client software. There's no additional license fees for failover, for snapshots, for anything like that. It all comes as part of the system built in. I actually had a following slide um, that I wanted to show that's not in this deck. And it's um, actually a screenshot that I took from one of our customers' websites. It's uh, e-infrastructure south in the UK. And if you Google e-infrastructure south UK, you'll see that they have some details about their HPC system and their parallel file system online. Interestingly enough, they not only use Panasys for fast scratch space for the cluster, but they also have the project data and the home directories on Panasys. And what they do is they um, use our snapshot tool for the home directories. They take a, a snapshot daily and then they back up from the home directories weekly. Now, our snapshot tool 
not only does snapshots, but we also have a tool called Snap Delta. It provides the delta between your current snap and your previous snap. So really, they only have to back up the data that had changed since the previous backup. So we make it extremely easy for our customers to implement their backups from Panassas. But we also have a system that has the enterprise features that you can put your home directories on Panassas, your project data on Panassas, as well as Scratch. It's a very, very capable solution. In terms of support, um, you as the customer, our partner that's implemented the solution with you, and Panassas all have shared access to our knowledge base, which is online. The knowledge base is somewhere you can go to download the latest uh, file system version, the, any software updates that we have. If you have a Panassas support contract, you can go on there and, and get access to everything. Because we all have access together, we can solve problems very, very quickly. There's a huge amount of information and knowledge base that allow us to, to solve any issues extremely quickly. And if you ask any existing Panassas customer, one thing they will tell you is that we have an outstanding support team. So Active Store 14. This is our latest product that we announced at Supercomputing um, in Salt Lake City. So, what we did before we uh, designed the Active Store 14 system was we ran a tool called FS Stats against many of our customers' file systems. Now, FS Stats is publicly available. You can follow the link there and go grab it and run it against your file system. Now, 95% of Panassas customers are HPC customers. They're using Panassas. Um, against their high-performance computing systems, right? They're using this with their HPC systems. So this data is from HPC customers, okay? What we did was we looked at the files in their file system that were below 64 kilobytes in size. And interestingly enough, even for HPC customers, we saw that anywhere between 45 and over 70% of their files were smaller than 64 kilobytes. And these are HPC customers that we all consider our large files, sequential I.O. The other interesting feature here is that although there's a huge amount of small files, they actually only take up less than 1% of the capacity of the file system. So that's why when we think about our file systems, we think about the large files because they're taking up most of the space. But in actual fact, the, the workload on the file system is extremely high from the number of small files, even though they're small capacity. So what we did to address that is we introduced SSDs onto the storage blades. So each storage blade in the Active Store 14 has two enterprise class SATA drives. It has a large amount of DRAM cache and it has an SSD. There's a 120 gigabyte, 300 gigabyte or 400 an 80 gigabyte SSD option depending on the storage blade that you're looking for. What the file system does is it targets metadata and all files up to 60 kilobytes in size onto the SSD. It actually also saves the first 12 kilobyte of any file inside the metadata. The system is extremely fast, not only for large files it gives very high aggregate throughput, but it's also very fast for small files. It's very fast at file system services. If you're looking for directory listings, if you're looking to run metadata stats, if you're looking to do lots of file system services that small files is going to place a, lot, a large workload on your system, then we can run it much faster with the SSDs in the Active Store 14. This is a comparison um, of certain performance elements comparing the Active Store 14 versus the Active Store 12, which doesn't have the SSDs but also has very high aggregate throughput. So we have in the Active Store 14 nine times faster small file reads, six times faster directory listings, five times faster stats and metadata, four times faster deletes. We've doubled the NFS operations per second. We've actually increased our reconstruction performance by 30 to 50% because all the metadata is on the SSD. 
But we've maintained the very high aggregate throughput from the Panassas system. We've not compromised that at all. The Active Store 14 actually has two different models. We have the Active Store 14 and the Active Store 14T, which stands for Turbo. The Active Store 14 contains four terabyte drives, so each blade has two four terabyte enterprise class SATA drives and the SSD. And the Active Store 14T comes with two terabyte drives and a larger SSD. It's more aimed at customers that have a larger amount of small files. This is just a quick look at the product family from Panassas. We have the Active Store 11, 12, and 14. The products are really differentiated on performance. The Active Store 11 is our entry level product. Um, it comes in at 1 gigabyte per second aggregate bandwidth per shelf. The Active Store 12 is 1.5 gigabyte per second aggregate bandwidth per shelf. And the Active Store 14 is the system with 1.5 gigabyte aggregate bandwidth per shelf, but contains the SSDs for the faster metadata and small file performance. Okay, just a summary. So Panassas is a high performance storage appliance, right? It has fantastic performance for high performance computing workloads. It is an appliance. We design the hardware with the file system from the ground up. It's extremely modular, so you, you buy your Panassas shelf. You don't need object storage servers. You don't need metadata servers. You don't need rate controllers. You buy the Panassas shelf. You add more shelves, and it scales performance and capacity in a modular, linear fashion. It's very easy to install, to manage, and to scale. It has very unique um, features in terms of RAID uh, through our object RAID solution. All the components are hot swappable. They all have built-in redundancy. Failover comes with Panassas' standard, including active-active metadata failover. And lastly, we are unique amongst parallel storage. We have a lot of features that, that we've had for years that I hear people talking about that are coming down the road in other parallel file systems. We've got them already. We just need to do a better job of telling you guys about them. So we have an intelligent use of SSDs. We've got protection against unrecoverable read errors. So at the sector level on the drive, we apply parity. So if you hit a URE during a data reconstruction, you won't lose data on Panassas. We have a highly parallel data reconstruction. At Rutherford Appleton Lab, they have, I can't remember how many, but it's tens and tens of director blades. Imagine how fast their reconstructions are going because they have 30, 40, 50 director blades working in parallel to reconstruct data. Active, active metadata failover, scalable metadata. Um, we do something similar to what was mentioned yesterday in that you can carve up the, the file system and uh, associate specific directories to specific director blades to spread the metadata workload across the system. And we've been doing that for years. And there's much, much more. So that concludes the talk. Thank you very much.